Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. Actually, Tinker Lads, I'm actually not doing a tutorial today. I'm just going to show you today my favorite shortcuts and tools that I use in Tinkercad. I understand that some students um, will watch my videos but won't actually listen to the tutorials and they're missing some very important tools that make life a lot easier when you're trying to learn this stuff. So, prepare to be amazed by following along. So here we go. My very, very, very favorite tool. It's actually more of a, yeah, it is a tool, is uh, the Align tool. Now the Align tool is this one right here. Now the Align tool, you can click on this or as you can see down there underneath that word, you can just click the letter L. So let's try it out. I didn't click on anything. I'm going to hit the letter L and there it goes. So when you want two things to be aligned, you click on the align tool and then you want them to, to click the center button. If you both, if you want them both to be centered. And if you see, if you can tell, I mean, when you click on, before you click on this, you just hover over this particular circle. It shows you what it's going to look like. Over here, it's going to show you what it looks like here. So you get an idea of what's going to happen. Usually I use this because I want two objects to be one aligned with the other perfectly. So this is how you would do that. All right, so there's the alignment there. Let's look on the left side over here and let's focus on that. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the cylinder is to the left. Well, I want it to be directly, perfectly in the center. So I click on this and there you go. These two are now perfectly aligned. I'm going to click away and it goes away. I'm going to undo this by hitting control Z. Now here is the, the other little trick with the align tool. Again, I'm going to select both of them. Instead of clicking on the L, I'll click on this. Let's say I don't want the cylinder, cylinder to move. I want the box to move, move over here. Like right now it's not a big deal because it's pretty much, you know, it doesn't matter. But when you're designing things, there are certain times where you do not want one object to move. So to make sure it doesn't move, I'm going to click on it once. Now I can align it here and the center there and the cylinder never moved. Only the red box did. So that's another little trick there. Click on the object first to make sure you tell Tinkercad which one you don't want moving. All right, so that, that is by far my favorite tool. The other one, which you can't really tell with this one, let's see if I can make it a little more obvious for you guys, is the mirror tool. Now, there it is, but you can always press the letter M. I'm going to do that right now. Press the letter M. This one allows you to rotate the object in a certain direction. I use this a lot with, with legs. When I want, when I'm finished with one leg and I want to um, create a second leg, but on the other side of the body, I will use the mirror tool. Now check this out. If I click on this, it's going to make a mirror of this. See, but maybe I wanted to mirror straight up. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe I wanted to go the other way and this one, it doesn't matter because it's still going to be looking, it's going to look the same. But the beautiful thing is you can look what it's going to, you can, you can see what it's going to look like if you just hover over the arrows that way, you know, what it's going to look like and you know, it's all good. So that one's my favorite. Again, it's this button here or the letter M. I mean, there you go. The next one is focus. Okay. Focus. So let's say I'm really, really, really close to here. And I'm like, wow, I really like, oh wait, I can't really see it. Well, I can click on this button right here, which is called the focus button or the letter F. What it does, it, it puts the thing that you've selected into the center of your screen. Very helpful when you're trying to get into some detail and you're like, okay, yeah, I think I get, oh wait, I can't see it anymore. Let me back away so I can get the bigger picture. Click the letter F and there we go. So 
love that because it's a shortcut that make it saves me a lot of time. It really does. Now, a, a lot of students still aren't familiar with this right here. I want you to see something. I'm going to try to move this up. You see how it kind of moves up in steps? Control Z. I can make those steps really small by changing the snap grid right down here to 0.1. There, it's a lot smoother. Honestly, it's, it's a little shaky, but way better. I can also make all those little tiny steps go away by clicking off completely. So, as smooth as you're gonna get it, here you go. So all those are tools within Tinkercad that I use almost every single time. Now here's another, another tool, this is actually a shortcut, okay? Now a shortcut means there isn't a way to get to it by clicking on an icon, or at least I'm not aware of this one in particular. So a shortcut means you just have to know it. Now I want you to see something down here. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure if you noticed how I did that. I'm trying to look under here, but to do that, I click the center wheel on my mouse, the scrolling wheel, and I just clicked and held it down while I moved it up. There you go. So I'm not sure if you know this, but this gray part is technically under the bed. So I want this to be on the same level as the box. So I could click on that black arrow and move it up. But then it's like, when is it exactly perfect? Like at what point? I could click here and hit zero. And there you go. But another shortcut that's even faster than that. Again, let me focus, uh, just F, and move this up. Here's the shortcut. Just click on the letter D. Every single time it works, it goes down, essentially. Now, I just brought this from under the bed to on top or above the bed or directly on it. Right now, the square is above it. Let me focus here. I'm going to click the letter D. It goes directly onto the bed. There you go. Now, that is the shortcut for going down. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes, sometimes you want an object like let's let's say the cylinder maybe we want this cylinder to i don't know make a hole inside the cube now you could just click here or there's a shortcut on your on your keyboard press the letter h it makes the hole but let's say you change your mind and you want it to be a solid click the letter s it makes it a solid hole solid h s awesome I love that. Now, another one that my students aren't aware of, they know of this one, the undo, but I like con control Z. It just undoes everything that you've been doing. That way, if you get stuck and you're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Well, you just hit control Z or the back arrow and you are good. Now, the next one I just found out myself. So I want this, let me focus on that one right there. I want this box to move up. So this is how you would do it. First of all, so you can make it so it's easier to see. I'm gonna click on the two millimeters so you can see this. I'm gonna hit command and the the arrows on my keyboard, I'm gonna press the one that's pointing up. So again, on my, com on my computer it's command, but on yours it's probably gonna be control. <laughs> that's what happens when I hit control but on yours is going to be command. Now, let's say you go up and you're like, oh man, how many times did I press that button? You can always just hit the letter D and make it go down. Love that one. Love it. Cannot wait to use it again. So you guys appreciate, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification because we're going to be doing some fun things and I want you to be the first one there. All right. So enjoy the shortcuts and the tools in Tinkercad.